Suppose you have a 3 by 3 by 3 cube. You paint the outside of the cube before cutting it into 1 by 1 by 1 cubes. I pick a random 1 by 1 by 1 cube from the pile of cubes and roll it. What is the probability that a painted side is face up? Can you generalize this answer to an n by n by n cube? If you want to give the problem a try, pause the video here and come back for the solution. Okay, so how can we solve this problem? Well, if you can imagine a 3 by 3 by 3 cube, you can observe that of the 27 cubes we get after cutting it into the 1 by 1 by 1 cubes, the corner cubes will have three painted sides, the edge cubes will have two painted sides, and the center cubes of each face will have one painted side, and the center cube will have no painted side. Um, now, there are exactly eight corner cubes, uh, 12 edge cubes, six cubes in the middle of the faces, and one cube in the center of the entire cube, which adds up to the to total 27 cubes. The probability of picking a corner cube is therefore 8 over 27, and if we pick a corner cube, the probability of it landing with a paint side being face up is 1 half, since there are 3 painted sides and 3 non-painted sides. The probability of picking up an edge piece is uh, 12 over 27, and the probability of rolling a painted side is 1 third, since there are 2 painted sides from the total of 6 sides of the cube. If we pick a cube from the center of the face of the original cube, we roll a painted side with a probability of 1 over 6, and the probability of picking up such a cube is 6 over 27. If we pick up the cube from the center of the original cube, we won't get a painted side face up, since this cube doesn't have any painted sides, so we don't have to consider this case. Therefore, our expression for the probability that a painted side is face up after rolling one of the 27 cubes is 8 over 27 times 1 half, plus 12 over 27 times 1 third, plus 6 over 27 times 1 6, and evaluating this gives a nice expression of 1 over 3. Alright, so let's try to generalize this result to an n by n by n cube. If we paint the outer layer of an n by n by n cube, we'll again have 8 edge cubes that each have 3 sides painted on it. Let's try to find the number of edge cubes. A cube has 12 edges, and each of the edges contains n cubes. However, since 2 of these cubes are corner cubes, the number of edge cubes per edge is n minus 2. Therefore, the number of edge cubes in total is 12 times n minus 2. To find the number of face cubes, which are the cubes that are on the face of the original cube, but are neither corner cubes or edge cubes, we can notice that a cube has 6 faces, and that each face has n squared 1 by 1 by 1 cubes. But, since the outer ring of this face is all edge and corner cubes, we have to reduce the width by 1 on each side, and the height um, by 1 on each side, giving n minus 2 cubes on the horizontal and vertical axes, which means that there are n minus 2 squared of these 1 by 1 by 1 cubes on each side of the face of the larger cube. And since there are 6 faces, there are a total of 6 times n minus 2 squared of these cubes. Again, we don't really have to deal with the cubes on the inside of the, or of the original cube, since uh, they all don't have any painted faces, and thus the probability of rolling a painted face with them is 0. Uh, the total number of cubes is n to the 3, so as before, we can write our, out an expression for the total probability. We have 8 over n to the 3rd times 1 half, plus 12 times n minus 2 over n to the 3rd times 1 third, plus 6 times n minus 2 squared over n to the 3rd times 1 over 6, which we can actually simplify to 1 over n. So, you can see that in the end, we actually get a very simple answer, which makes intuitive sense as well. If we increase n, then the proportion of cubes that don't have any paint on them increases on the order of n to the third, while the number of cubes on the outside of the cube only increases on the order of n squared. So the more cubes we have, the less the probability of rolling a painted side. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that problem. If you like these types of videos, I have loads more, so please consider subscribing to my channel, and I'll hope to see you next time.